Hello YouTube Divers, this is Water Dive 122 and I want to welcome you all to another episode of Coda of Soda. So today, uh, this, this episode is the first one where I have a special guest here on this series. Everyone, this is uh, my girlfriend Caitlin um, and I brought her on to this episode uh, mainly because this soda that we are reviewing today is was picked up by Caitlin herself. Today we are going to be reviewing Flathead Lake Huckleberry Soda. So, Caitlin, why don't you go ahead and tell everyone a little bit about this soda? Um, this soda is from Montana. It's from Whitewater Fish or Kenef. Ah, uh, well, I can't get the K name right, but um, it's also their actual. I think their Loch Ness monster they have. I. I don't really know the name of it very well. I, my mom would know it better than me. And yeah, it's Huckleberry's like one of their favorite flavors because they have so many Huckleberry stuff. I've literally, my parents told me there is a store full of Huckleberry stuff like Huckleberry jelly, Huckleberry fudge. There's a lot of Huckleberry stuff in mm. Montana. T sounds tasty. Um, but anyway, so the main qualities um, that I've noticed with this soda is particularly its flavor. Um, this is coming from a guy who is uh, very, very new to Huckleberry fla Huckleberry flavored products because, to be quite frank with y'all, I've never really tried any Huckleberry flavored products um, in my life. Uh, so this was really my introduction to that uh, whole new uh, flavor style. And I gotta say, this this is very, very nice. It sort of reminds me of like a very fizzy, very carbonated uh, grape juice. It sort of reminds me of Grape Flavored Crush, where it definitely had that fruity um, underbelly and flavor to it, um, but at the same time, it still stays true to its uh, soda structure. Very carbonated and very fizzy. This is a very fizzy drink. Um, yeah, I was going to say, my, my sister said it tasted like, actually, Grape Fanta. Yeah, basically, you could throw in any fruit-flavored brands, uh, probably with the exception, actually, probably, maybe with the exception of Jaritos, because I don't know if they do a, a grape flavor or not. Yeah, they don't. Um, um, but, I mean, like, you throw in Fanta or Crush or even grape-flavored Sunkissed, if you even had that before, um, then it would pretty much be in that uh, same ballpark, if if you will. Um, but I mean, overall, for this for this um, introduction, I would definitely say this was a fantastic start. Um, definitely, if y'all are out there in Montana and you happen to stumble across this soda, please give it a chance. This is a fantastic soda. All right, so that concludes the review. We are now going to do the taste test. So I'm going to pour yours in there, honey. Okay. Pour a little bit of mine. Okay. And so here we go. Cheers. Very good stuff. <laughs> All right. So with that said, that concludes this edition of Coda of Soda. Thank you so much for watching, my fellow YouTube divers. This is Water Eye 122 signing out, ready to dive in a more fun on YouTube. Thanks for watching.